open your ears, and lube up your butthole. It's time for the What Do We Call It podcast. Now, here's your host, it's J-Man. Welcome to the What Do We Call It podcast. I'm J-Man. And I'm number one fan, Tim. Do you know what grinder is? Uh, that a uh, isn't that a dating site or something? It's a dating app for gay men. Okay. It's mostly used for sex hookups. Okay, wouldn't that be kind of like uh, tagged? I I don't know what's tagged. Well, that's honestly that's how it met Mrs. Number One fan, but uh, really, it was an adult web uh, dating website and versus I, a dating kids website. Okay. <laughs> But uh, walked into that. I'm pretty sure a lot of people use it just for hooking up because I know my ex did during our towards the last few months of our marriage. So, uh, well, here's a story from last week that I saw that I just could not fucking get past. Over the past five months, Matthew Herrick says that 1,100 men have showed up at his home and workplace expecting to have sex with him. What? Herrick is suing Grinder, the popular dating app for gay and bisexual men because of it. According to his complaint, Herrick, 32, is the victim of an elaborate revenge scheme that's playing out on Grinder's platform. An ex-boyfriend of his, who says he met on Grinder, has allegedly been creating fake accounts since October of 2016. The accounts have Herrick's photos and personal details, including some falsehoods like a claim that he's HIV positive. The ex allegedly invites men to Herrick's apartment and the restaurant where he works. Sometimes as many as 16 strangers each day will show up looking for him. Jesus. In some instances, this is the best part. They are told not to be dissuaded if Herrick is resistant at first as part of an agreed-upon rape fantasy for (laughs) roleplay. See, isn't that That hilarious? Genius. I mean, this guy, this ex boyfriend's a fucking asshole, but that is that is hardcore pranking. That is, wow. That's taking it to the next level. That takes anything I've ever done to anybody and puts it to shame. It does, actually. I mean, I gave out MC Prowl's phone number and he was getting text messages from gay men, but I didn't send any HI positive fuckboys over to his house to try to plug his butt. Yeah. Holy God. Sixteen people in a day? Really? Shit. God. You know, and it and it made me think, I'm like, how tempting is it to send, like, 12 gay guys to any particular Burger King at random at the same time, and they all end up in the bathroom together. They're all supposed to be meeting the same guy, air quotes, the same guy, mm-hmm. fake account, and they all show up at the same time. What happens? Does it turn into like reservoir dogs where they're all just in the fucking room and they're trying to figure out who does what and how this is going to go? Like, is it a fucking Mexican standoff to see who's the first one to say, all right, fuck it, let's go. Every hole in my hands. (laughs) Jesus. I really like to fuck with people. Try that. that. Yeah, I really love to fuck with people like that. I have a couple of GoPro cameras so we can like. I'm pretty sure that's illegal to put ba- uh, cameras in a bathroom. Well, I'm not saying in the bathroom, but you can watch the guy. You can sit at the table, have you know, pretend you're eating the food because I won't fucking eat that food. You want and Burger you can King? just record the people. No, not really. It's not McDonald's. It's Burger King. It's no, fucking really. delicious. I like the chicken. Their double cheeseburgers and their new crispy chicken is fucking fabulous. I like their fabulous. crispy chicken. No mayo. Put a slice of cheese on it. Hell yeah. Oh, no. There's mayo. I think just no a, a little, a little. T- no. I don't normally like mayo, but I ate that thing, and it was like there was a party in my mouth, and flavor was invited. Lettuce, tomato, and cheese, man. Don't put fucking mayo on it. Sorry, just gotta scratch my balls. Fucking new pants. Don't have a lot of room to manipulate my sack. Okay. <laughs> um. So I had this idea months ago that I was going to do it and then report it on the show after I've done it. So here's the deal. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start a few fake gay dating profiles. Okay. This is not me dipping my toes in or trying to come out of the closet in a a very coy way, all right? This is all for pranking purposes. One or two fake gay profiles. You interact with some dudes. It shouldn't take much time. And then uh, then you tell them to meet you somewhere. At the same place. At the same time. And then you go there. 
and you sit back and you watch the comedy ensue. Hi. That's why I say you want to film them going into the bathroom, you know, like sitting at the table. And then watch them when they come out, you film it and get their god damn it face. That'd be so what if they go in there and they don't come out for forty five minutes? Well then you know there's gonna be cleanup needed. So they come out tucking their shirts and you're just like You're welcome, by the way. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, one, uh, you just got catfished. And two, you might want to go get a blood test. But at least you had a good time. Yay! Yeah. In a bathroom at a Burger King. Go oh you. Oh my god. Have some pride. At least do it next to the river up on 101 and Highway 10. What? Oh, you never heard about that? No. Okay, so up north from here, uh, Elk River. Elk River, yep. Uh, Highway 10. And uh, we're 169 and the river, that all conjunctions right there. Uh huh. In the woods on the east side of the river, that was a popular gathering spot for gay guys to hook up and bisexuals. How you fellas doing? And it was actually a real problem for a while. A real problem. Graffiti and teenage drinking is a real problem. A bunch of guys trying to fuck butts on the down low. That's a lifestyle choice. That's not really, it's not contributing to other crime. But that's just, well, it's because Are they it was littering? a park. Are they leaving a bunch of used poop covered condoms around? I that's a problem. I think they were leaving condoms around, but it was, they were doing it all times of day, even when there were children, quote, present. Why are there children in the woods by the river? It's like a park and like a, a, what the fuck? A playground? No, it's not a playground. Uh, Besides like a sexual a playground. Rest though. way, re- side a rest way, stop. Rest, rest stop. Well, uh, who doesn't know that highway rest stops are the bathhouses of today? Apparently some people don't. I mean, if you are going to have secret gay sex or try being bisexual or you have a fantasy about being murdered, Clearly, it's going to happen at a wayside rest stop. Yeah. I mean, they had like the Loring Park thing. You know where Loring Park is in Minneapolis? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I had never been there until this past fall when we went there for like the Christmas carnival, the Holodazzle carnival, because they don't have the parade anymore. Mm, No. And I didn't know where we were. And the Dirty Bee goes, well, this is Loring Park. I'm like, this is the park where the guys go and fuck each other by the jogging trail? No way. <laughs> We're right by the Basilica. That's ironic and hilarious and tragic. 20 bucks, I'll make you see heaven. Okay, back to your Highway 101 and Highway 10 intersection of fun. 10 bucks. 10 bucks and you can slap me with it. So if they're not finding condoms everywhere, these men, they're not playing it safe. Well, I'm sure some probably... Took them home with them or something. I don't know. As but, a memento? Well, yeah. Some have probably decency to keep the park clean. Keep the park. <laughs> I am not going to let my family find out that I have secret sexual desires to feel another man inside of my asshole. But I'll be damned if I'm going to litter. There, yeah, see? It, it just balances out. I'm going to go home and kiss my kids goodnight with the same lips that I just wrapped around your cock, but I will not leave rappers in a parking lot. That goes against everything I stand for. <laughs> Fuck. So the guy is suing Grinder, Okay. Saying that they're responsible for not having uh, a more intricate and in-depth process of weeding out fake accounts. But people can create, like, how many fake accounts in a day? You can. I can go get ten new email accounts in ten minutes. Yeah, all you gotta do is sign up and... Right. Give them all the same fucking first six letters and a different number. Or make them, you know, quasi-similar. hmm And then they all have the same password. And then you just start a new account with every password. And then you just start catfishing people. And next thing you know, there's guys that are eating chicken fries and each other's buttholes in the bathroom by the BK Play Place. Oh... Oh, oh, the Coon Rapids Burger King. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the the one, you have to smash out the gas bill. You know, <laughs> I, I think they've suffered enough, if you don't know what we're talking about. There's the Burger King. And I brought this up on the show a long time ago. They uh, had somebody prank call the store and say that there was a gas leak and they need to break some windows to ventilate the building so it doesn't explode. And they immediately, for some reason, went outside and started smashing the windows out in the play place. Yep. Well, it was the whole restaurant. 
Well, the play place especially, it has its own doors. It's separate from the restaurant. They're interconnected, but there's like an air blockage between the two. So yeah. they could have just done the restaurant windows, but the people next door at the gas station are filming. It's like, what the fuck? And you see this guy who's doing like Bruce Lee roundhouse kicks on the window until it breaks. <laughs> you know, Watch, it, I can kick it with my foot. It would be great to put them back in the news. Like the same Burger King that was pranked a year and a half ago. And by someone pretending to be a fire inspector and the employee smashed all the windows has become the ire of controversy once again with a gay sex ring for male prostitution busted in the bathroom. This man witnessed the whole thing. It's just me on camera like, there's a the big dorky <laughs> grin like, oh my God, I saw it all. Almost. They came in. They looked around. They went in the bathroom. They didn't come out for 25 minutes. They came out. They buttoned their pants. They, they a had a sweaty. cheeseburger. They went home and they pretended like nothing was wrong. Later on, they probably took painful shits. Probably. That would be awesome. I wonder if that would finally shut that one down. It might, or it'd be funnier to do it to like a lifetime fitness. Because there's always so many random naked dudes that are proud of their physiques just standing around slash Aww. old guys. Because there's this thing with gay guys called father looking for a son. It's a May-December gay relationship where an old man and a young dude fuck. Now, there's nothing wrong with being gay. But I don't want to put a good-looking dude's dick in my mouth, let alone an old man's. It's like sucking on a soggy cannoli. Um, sure. I'll just take your word on that one. I That's off the cuff. I haven't been, like, sitting here for weeks pondering what it's like to have an <laughs> old man's dick in my mouth. You know, I might have been an altar server, but nobody ever tried to fuck me. How funny would it be Just somebody pulls another one of these pretend pranks, and you'd like to hope that you can't be criminally prosecuted for, you know, tricking somebody to go to the gym yeah. and meet up, like... They just go there, they go to the locker room, they look for some dude, be like, I'll be in the third row of lockers. Tap me on the shoulder four times. And the passcode, <laughs> the passcode is gym socks. And then I want you to give me a big old smooch. <laughs> the next thing you know, there, I'm on location at the Champlin Lifetime Fitness, where the scene of an elderly man who was beaten within an inch of his life because of unwarranted sexual advances from a stranger who was tricked into coming here via an online dating app. And now gays are banned from it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're not going to ban gays <laughs> from Lifetime Fitness. There'd be a fucking angry pride march from one end of Hennepin County to the next. Yeah. I, in this day and age, you wouldn't think anybody would be dumb enough to pull a prank like that. Well, it, it, someone could try it. I mean, people would try just to do it, but people falling for it. Did they even find out whoever it was that called and said, well, yeah, we're with the fire department and you have a gas leak? I don't think they ever did. I mean, because obviously the employees didn't have enough intelligence to be like, how would they know? Uh, they tried to trace the call, but they were routing it through different call stations. They used the internet to make the call, these, so these they are, bounced it all over. These are experienced these, Yeah, I was going to say, these people know what the fuck they're doing, and my hat is off to them. Well, they did it in multiple cities. That's the fucked up thing. Is over the, All over the country, they did like five or six of them. And five or six of them went out and broke their fucking windows? Yes. Jesus, there are some stupid fucking people in this country. Well, it's Burger King. And they work at Burger King. They work at Burger King. Some members work at, And no offense to the people that work there. I mean, I'm not saying that you're automatically stupid if you work at Burger King. Some people manage Burger Kings and make decent money being adult babysitters, having to make a bunch of teenagers pretend they give a shit about a minimum wage fast food job. But yeah. you got to start somewhere. And honestly, um, yeah, you get the the bad reputation for being stupid and a loser for working there but i'm sure there's decent people that work there yeah there might be so uh this lawyer said that uh they need to look at the corporate and ethical responsibilities of grinder to its users when it learns that its platform is being abused and the answers have big implications basically there's something called the 1996 communications decency act at play here and it's a unique legal protection that gives a broad layer of immunity to online companies from being held liable for user-generated content. Companies are supposed to act in good faith to protect users. But like I said, they can't keep track of everybody when they're signing up so fucking fast. Yeah. So much of their work is to try to figure out which uh, profiles are the fake ones and flag them or shut them down. 
Uh, Grinder has terms of service that state that impersonation accounts aren't permitted, but I mean, who knows how hard they're cracking down on this shit. Let's see what it is. Shit, yeah. my ex created one on tag just because one of the guys that she was fucking uh, dumped her, quote, uh-huh. and she wanted to know why. So she created a fake profile. She went out and got a, a prepaid cell phone and did all this stuff. You got in touch with the guy. Basically stalked him to find out why he said, I don't want to be with you anymore. I can't do this. And I told her when she's confessing all this to me, it's like, it's probably because he knew you had a husband at home and he wasn't cool with it anymore. Maybe, maybe that's it. Just whatever. Yeah. Well, sometimes having that closure is just enough, but now it's giving people, I I can't believe I'm saying this. It's giving guys that use grinder a bad name. (laughs) Doesn't that feel silly to say? That's silly. It's giving guys that are using anonymous sex dating apps to fuck each other a poor reputation. There's a lack of trust in the gay community right now. (laughs) 30% of these men that are pretending they want sex are showing up and they don't actually want sex because they don't exist. And no one is holding that accountable. Use that for data. (laughs) <laughs> that's a reference you don't get from this past week with the coach of the Memphis Grizzlies flipping out about lacks of fouls being called on uh, players of the San Antonio Spurs NBA playoffs. You're right. I, I wouldn't be yeah. paying attention to that. Sports. Oh, that kind of sport. Okay, hypothetically speaking, let's say a <laughs> dude shows up to your house and knocks on the door and you're like, can I help you? Or one of the kids answers, hi, is your dad home? I'm looking for so-and-so. Oh, one minute. And you go to the door and it's this dude like, hey, I'm here. For what? Who the fuck are you? How would you react? The guy's like, "We, you were contacting me on Grinder. We're supposed to meet up. You said you were going to fuck me in the garage. I'll give you a tool bench. I'm here. Stir um, my paint. Pretty much kind of the way you started out. It'd be, uh, yeah, what are you here for? It's just like, you know, blah, blah, blah. And be like, um, no, you're mistaken. That's not me. I'm not gay, as you can see and point at the children. So what if it's an elusive? Leave. What if it's a very elusive cover up? Well, that's for him to sit there and decipher on his own. I'm just going to be like, I'm not gay, okay? And then I'm just going to shut the door. And if he doesn't leave, well, I'm an armed American. Oh, <laughs> like, get off my fucking property. Do you call the cops and say, "Look, I need you to send over a squad." There's a guy on my doorstep who says he's here to fuck me. If he seriously doesn't leave within like two minutes. Yeah, I'd be on the fucking phone getting the cops over there. He's going to be down the street in the parking lot of Casey's General Store crying into his smartphone. I can't believe this happened again. That's his problem, not mine. Oh, dear God. Meanwhile. working out so well pick up you fucker hi this is rick i can't get to my phone right now i'll call you back as soon as i can thanks bye hi my name is adam and i got your phone number off of grinder and i was calling because i heard that you were dtf and i just want to know what you were thinking like if you're into bondage or bears or anything like that so call me back bye a few moments later hello hey what's up what are you doing i'm uh hanging on with scotty from the garage oh let me ask you a question okay i read this story of this guy who had an ex-boyfriend who was pissed off they broke up So his ex-boyfriend created fake online gay dating accounts and then would have gay men show up at his job and his house to fuck him. And he would... I heard that one on the... Like, is that my two exes, Nick? Yeah. The K fan, one of the two? So he told these other guys that if he was hesitant at first to just keep going because it was part of an elaborate rape fantasy. (laughs) Yeah, I heard that one. How how would you react if that happened to you? I just I was curious. I was like, what would somebody like Rick James do if he's sitting there at his work truck and a guy rolls up to the shop and says, "Hey, I'm here to have sex." Do you remember we were talking on Grinder? 
That happens to him all the time. Yeah. Oh, oh, Scotty, I'm on speakerphone. Hi, Scotty. Hi. I'd be like, sweet, let's do this. Scotty, what if some guy showed up to the fire station looking to push your shit in? What would I say? What would you do? Would you flip out or would you kind of just kind of take it easy on him? Be like, look, buddy, there's been a mistake. Well, I'd go along with that. Scotty, say you better hurry up. I got a fire call. <laughs> That alarm is going to go off in probably 30 seconds for a medical. How quick can you get your pants off? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty clever. That's up, that's up your alley for uh, Lazarus. No, dude, that is that is some other level shit. I haven't even done anything like that. I'm almost considering creating a fake grinder account just to see if I can get a couple of dudes to show up to the same restaurant in the bathroom. And when they go in there at the same time to meet up, like if a fight ensues... Or if they don't come out for 10 minutes and then they both leave looking very guilty and sweaty? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that's... I mean, you put thoughts in on it, though, you know. Not, yeah, definitely not to that level. That's screwed. Hey, when are you going to have uh, Ricky and I on your podcast? Uh, when the fuck is Ricky going to be on the podcast? You keep saying no. <laughs> yeah, I told, up, I told you I'm not interested. No. <laughs> okay. Well, I think you need. To, I, I think Ricky should come over with me, and Rick and I will be on the podcast. I want to do it again. I'm all for it. I want you to bring Rick. <laughs> yeah, it's too busy. If I have to roofie you and put a potato sack over your head and drive you in my trunk to my house, I'll fucking do it. Yeah, and then I'll send a couple of hairless Puerto Rican guys over to your house with a bag of fish fillet sandwiches looking to get blown. Oh, that's my fantasy. <laughs> I suppose you can eat cheeseburgers on Fridays now. Lent is over. So maybe I'll send him with some real meat. Giggity. No, no, Lent is over last week, wasn't it? No, if you want to get inside, you got to bring the fish. I, I don't even know how to process that. Don't, don't process it. Just take a note of it. For future reference. Okay. Well, I'll jot that down. <laughs> well, fuck yeah. When, when, when can I come back? I had a good time. Probably in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, let me know. Okay. Well, I'll let you gentlemen get back to hanging out. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Take that, Rick James. I just got you on the podcast. That's fucking funny. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> he shouldn't have called me back. Ah. <sighs> interact with the show on twitter at what do we call it that is at what do we call it you can find us on facebook.com slash group slash what do we call it podcast show for the what do we call it podcast i'm j man and i'm number one fan tim and that's the end This is what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass!